Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Casey Luck. I run Luck & Co, an agency where we help e-commerce brands maximize their revenue from email. If you're managing an e-commerce brand, I think you'll agree with me when I say, cart abandonment emails are the unquestioned money makers for e-commerce stores. They were probably the first automated emails you set up. And if you still don't have them set up, you need to go and do that right now. But what if you were actually missing out on as much revenue as you were making from your abandoned cart emails? Fear of missing out. Out of every 10 e-commerce brands that we work with here at Luck & Co, we double the revenue from abandoned cart for nine of them. No kidding. That means 90% of e-commerce stores have the potential to 2x the money they make every month from just this one flow. In this video, I'll walk you through the three most common abandoned cart email mistakes that e-commerce brands are making and show you how you can improve your email automations and then even offer a little bonus at the end. So watch through to the end. Before we get to do that, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to support me in making more cool videos like this one. Please just press that thumbs up or bell icon right now. Thank you. All right, now let's roll. So tell me, who receives your abandoned cart emails? Right, it's people who abandoned cart. But more precisely though, it's people who filled out and submitted the first page of your checkout form, which means they gave you their first name. That information is gold. And if you're not using their first name in the subject line and the body text of your abandoned cart emails, you're missing out. Personalization has been a big hot word in email marketing for a while. I hate big hot trendy words, but personalization works. Here's why. Reason number one, personalized emails look a bit less like marketing emails and a bit more like personal emails, which means you have a better chance at passing email filters and ending up in Gmail's primary tab. Woohoo! Reason number two, Higher open rates. No surprise here. If I see my name in the subject line or preview text, I'm more likely to open that email. And reason number three why personalization works. When you address a person by their first name, they're more likely to relate to you and trust you. And more trust equals more sales. And working out the equation here, more personalization equals more sales. Yay. Yay. Oh. So long story short, please include the recipient's first name in all of your abandoned cart emails. And here's a little bonus tip for you. Awesome viewer. Bonus. Besides the first name, you also have a bunch of other cool information about your shopper at this time. For example, the name of the product they left in cart. Use that. In addition to just showing that product in the default email, use the product name in the subject line. For example, all right, let's move on to mistake. <laughs> All right, let's move on to mistake number two frequently made in e-commerce abandoned cart emails, not segmenting based on order value. This is what a standard out of the box cart abandonment email automation looks like. Two emails, the first one with the subject looks like you forgot something and the second one, your cart is expiring. That's a good start, but there's so much missing here. As we learned earlier, when a customer abandons cart, we know a lot about this customer. One of the obvious things we know is how much they ordered. We can use this information to help more people complete their order and pay while keeping an eye on our margins. Here's how. Add a trigger split after email two, segmenting recipients based on their cart value. If the value of their cart is higher than the agreed threshold, whatever it makes sense for your business, let's say 50 bucks, offer them a discount in email three or tell them they get free shipping. If the value of their cart is lower than that amount, don't include a discount, but remind them that it's their last chance to check out before you have to release products from their cart and make them available to other shoppers. A segmented cart abandonment flow should look something like this. Adding a trigger split like that makes sure you're maximizing revenue while keeping an eye on the profit margin. Here's another sweet tip for an attentive viewer. Bonus means extra. Add an additional filter to email three to make sure each subscriber receives the email no more than once every 30 to 60 days. That way you're not training your customers to expect a discount in the abandoned cart email. And now mistake number three, everyone's making in their abandoned cart emails, 
not A-B testing plain text versus HTML emails. I know, I know, your product is beautiful and images are essential, I get it. That's why most e-commerce brands disregard plain text emails. They're all about beautiful design and putting product first. Plain text is too risky or not on brand. I heard that too many times. Sure, I see the point of HTML emails. You want them to be beautiful. But more importantly, you want them to sell, right? At the end of the day, people buy your products not because they look good. Yes, it is a contributing factor, but it's not the most important one. They buy your stuff because they believe you. They believe the product is going to do what you say it's going to do. They trust you. And sometimes to build that trust, words go a way longer way than pictures. And look, I'm not saying nix all of your HTML emails, but do experiment with plain text. Add a variation to email one and email three that's going to be either from the founder or a customer support person. Write it in a personal way, like you're talking to a friend. Use all of that personalization superpowers we just talked about at the beginning of this video. Make it relatable. Open the door for replies. Here's an example from one of our clients. Last bonus tip for you, my favorite viewer, since you're still watching. Woo! More party! Change the from name from simply your company name to your name at company. So instead of Luck & Co Agency, it would be Casey at Luck & Co Agency. Set up an A-B test and analyze how that affects your open rate and conversion rates. All right, want more? If I get 50 likes under this video and 50 new subscribers, I'll record a detailed in-depth tutorial video on how to set everything up in your email platform and cover three more common mistakes that are keeping brands away from doubling their revenue. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You're super for doing that. And if you write a comment, even if it's just, hey, you get 500 reward points from me. But seriously, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.